A satellite dish is shaped like a paraboloid of revolution. This means it can be formed by rotating a parabola around its axis of symmetry. The receiver is located at the focus. If the dish is 72 feet across its opening and 9 feet deep at its center, we're asked to find an equation for the dish and where the receiver is located. We'll represent a slice of the satellite dish using a parabola that opens up, as shown here on the right, and if we rotated the parabola about the axis of symmetry, it would give us the satellite dish. The dish is 72 feet across its opening, so we'll let the y-axis be the axis of symmetry, and we'll let the distance along the x-axis be the 72 feet at its opening. And because 72 divided by 2 is equal to 36, we'll let the point 36 comma 0 on the right be an x-intercept, and we'll let the x-intercept of negative 36 comma 0 be the x-intercept on the left. Notice the distance between these two points is 72. And because the dish is 9 feet deep, we'll let the vertex be the point 0 comma negative 9, let's just say here. This isn't a scale, it just gives us an idea of the parabola. And now we can go ahead and sketch the parabola, which would look something like this. And again, if we rotated this about the axis of symmetry, it would give us the satellite dish. And now we want to find the equation of this parabola. And because it opens up, we know the equation is going to be in the form of the square of x minus h equals 4p times the quantity y minus k, where h comma k is the vertex. And because the parabola opens up, p is going to be positive or greater than zero. So again, the form of the equation is going to be the square of x minus h equals 4p times the quantity y minus k. We know the vertex is the point 0 comma negative 9, which means you know h is 0 and k is negative 9. Performing the substitutions, we have x squared equals 4p times the quantity y minus negative 9, which simplifies to the quantity y plus 9. And now to finalize our equation, we need to find 4p or p. We can do this using either of the two x-intercepts. Because they're on the parabola, they must satisfy the equation. Let's go ahead and use the x-intercept on the right of 36 comma 0. We will now substitute 36 for x and 0 for y, which will allow us to find p or 4p. This gives us 36 squared is equal to 4p times the quantity 0 plus 9 or just times 9. And now again, we can solve for p or 4p. I'm going to go ahead and solve for 4p by dividing both sides by 9. Simplifying, we have 4p is equal to the square of 36 divided by 9, which is equal to 144. Now that we have 4p, we know our equation. Our equation is going to be x squared equals 4p, which is 144, times the quantity y plus 9. Let's go ahead and record this below. And now to answer the second part of the question, recall the receiver is located at the focus, and we're asked to find where the receiver is located. Recall that the absolute value of p will always give us a distance from the vertex to the focus, or in our case, just p because we know p is positive. So earlier we found 4p. We now need to go back and find p. So using the equation 144, equals 4p, we divide both sides by 4, which gives us p is equal to 36. And again, because our parabola opens up, this indicates the location of the receiver or the focus is going to be 36, in this case 36 feet, above the vertex. If we wanted to find the actual ordered pair, we would have to add 36 to the y-coordinate of the vertex. Let's go ahead and do that. The focus would be the point 0 comma negative 9 plus 36, which would be the ordered pair 0 comma 27. Let's also include this as part of our answer. I hope you found this helpful.